Welcome to my house. We have our new kitchen. It doesn't have any cabinets. Get my big fat fucking face out of there. But we do have a fenced in yard. And a fridge. All kinds of stuff. So, highly requested video for Suki's new task, uh, which is finding the exit. Um, I suffer from dissociative episodes that can make me disoriented, confused, and sometimes want to hurt myself. So, um, she is being trained to, when this happens, uh, find an exit. We've done about five or six sessions on this, and, uh, I was really surprised yesterday. Um, I'll show you that video, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna go through step by step how I taught her to find the exit. You need things. A front door. Preferably not in the ghetto where I live now. Mm. Treats, of course. Uh, we got these crunchy ones. She's been liking crunchy ones a lot lately. And a harness. This one is borrowed from Caitlin and Raven. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I forget. I'll probably put it in the description. Um, so you need a harness with either a guide handle or a pull strap. Um, yeah, you don't want to use just a normal leash. Uh, probably because it, it's probably not going to be all that effective at guiding with a leash. And uh, guiding with something around their neck is, is not going to be all that safe. Um, you're not wanting them to pull you super hard. This isn't going to be forward momentum pulling we're just guiding to an exit so that's what she's going to be doing i'm going to get her in her harness and show you what we uh what we did so this is the room i'm videotaping in we just moved so we have all of this this box spring this tv in the middle of the room like it is not organized but what we need here is a clear path a few feet from the door this is a Y-front harness. Suki, come. Wherever she's getting up from being by daddy. Come here. Good girl. You get to put it on? So it goes over their head like that. You want the strap on their back. Straps here and here. If it's a Y-front that you have, obviously uh, this is the shape it is. You want... The tops of the Y over her sh uh, over their shoulders, and the bottom of the Y to go underneath them. Oh my gosh, I had that camera turned the wrong way the whole time. Sorry, guys. I just realized um, I can pause this. That's really cool. Okay, I'm going to do that now instead of just stopping the whole video. So this is her and her harness. Say hi, Suki. Good girl, you little go work. And we've, as you can see, we have the Halloween stuff going on, purple and orange. Yeah. All right, let's get started. I have her treats. Put them in your pocket or treat bag. And we're going to do that. Pause. Treats? Oh yeah, this is the front of my car that got ripped off by some drunk who stole a car. And my insurance won't cover it. Anyway, treats. I have one hand. We're going to put a few out here like that. Bam. So, she know let, the let your dog know that they're out there. Suki, look, you see that treats? So she knows that they're there. All right. Come on, back. Get back. So you want the treats to be just right outside your door. And your dog knows they're there. Start out just a few feet from the door. Grab the handle. Oh, well, not yet. 
And uh, don't add the the command yet because the dog doesn't know what it is. So uh, before you add any command, give your dog the release word that it already knows. Suki's is F R E E. Sometimes you use OK or get it or whatever. Um, Suki free. And she goes and gets the treat. Good girl. So that's how you start to get them to walk towards the door. Do that a few times until they get it. Um, and when, when after you've done that a few times, <clears throat> I'm going to take another treat after she's done. I think I put way too many out. That was a lot. Okay, go back inside. Go back inside. She's waiting. Suki, get inside. Wait. You stay. Treat. Put it down. Okay. So one more time, we're going to come back in here. And I am sorry for the video quality, guys. I cannot do this with one hand. Come here, Sook. Good girl. Heel. Okay. Ah. Again, this is a work in progress. We've done this a few times already. Now, uh, before you give your release word, after a few times of doing this, you're going to say uh, the release word and then say your cue. So, free, exit. Hmm. Okay. If your dog doesn't get it at first, like she just got confused because we were already saying exit before, uh, say free, free, exit like that. Good girl. Good job. Uh, so yeah, um, if your dog pauses like she did, a little confused, just say free. And then while you're walking, say the, say the word and do that until you can do it again. Set up your treat. Obviously I'm not going to do that again. Uh, and then just exit and then keep, keep having their treats out here until they're walking out. Um, once they get the idea of that, we're going to go farther back. So now, I'm all the way back here. Suki, come in! Before I go! <laughs> she got closed outside. <laughs> Hello! Come in! <laughs> come here, Suki heel. Come here, Suki. Now that we're farther from the door, exit. And she had the guide. So that's what you, you're going to do at first when you're working from home. Just keep going farther back. Maybe do it. I couldn't in this room because we have so much stuff that we haven't moved yet. Uh, but you wanna, you're want to, you going to want to do it from different directions if you can. But yeah, now we're going to go on to the next step, which is at the pet store. So here we are, pet store. Um, we're pretty close to the entrance. Um, we don't want to start too far back, especially because now you're in a completely different environment. So you are pretty much want to restart your dog on what you're doing. So you're going to do the exact same thing as you would at home. Come Suki. And the reason I put the treats by the door, it's going to fall over there, is because I don't want her to keep looking at me. Usually when, you know, a service dog who is taught to, you know, have complete focus on the trainer, all of a sudden you're telling them to lead the way, uh, they're going to be a little uh, less confident. Uh, so this is going to keep her looking straight ahead at that treat. So I'm going to tell her free and she's gonna go get the treat now your dog may not know exactly what to do she knows what to do if uh, your dog is confused do it outside of the door so your dog can actually see it I went through the door because it's pretty busy right now and I don't want to get in anyone's way um, so do that at a short distance until you know your dog is getting it if your dog is not getting it then um, you need to you need to do go closer so that your dog sees the food. Um, if 
your dog is too confused, you you want to do more at home first. So that would probably mean that your dog is not ready for all of the distraction that comes with being in a pet store. Um, so do more at home and get them used to the procedure so that they can kind of pick up on it a little bit quicker. So that is my advice for that. Uh, but we're going to keep going after that little tidbit. I'm going to drop a treat, come back, and tell her, exit. Free. Good girl. Good girl. So, they're going to, once you start getting them going to the treat with the word exit, come on. You're going to go farther back, like you did at home. Just like at home. I forgot to lay a treat there, but it's fine. Put a treat down, go farther back. Exit. Good girl, good job, good girl. So, at this point, your dog is going to think that there's a treat every time you go towards the door, which is not completely true. So it's pretty easy to get them off of the treats on this one because you can act like you threw a treat down and then restart and tell them exit. And when they start to go for the treat, immediately when they get to the door, good job, good job. Get a treat out of your pouch or pocket and give it to them, and, and they know either way that they get a treat, whether there's one on the floor over there or not. So, um, once you start getting from farther back, just like at home, you want to do different positions. So we're going to go over here, do the same thing. Exit. Oh, she wants to stop for a snack. No. I'm going to restart because she did not Oops. Suki. Focus. Suki, focus. Good girl. There we go. Exit. There we go. It's a lot of distractions in here. Even for a dog like her that's been doing this for her entire life, pretty much. She still gets distracted at pet stores. And that's okay. We don't come here often. It's a really distracting environment. Good job. When you get here, no matter how many people there are around, I'm already doing something embarrassing by filming, but when you get to the door, praise. Praise a lot. You'll see in the video after this how I praise her when, when she gets to the door. Praise them like you have never before. It is a hard task. It really is. I'm going to come from the left. I'm going to come from the right. Do not go around the corner yet. Exit. She already started walking. That's okay. Don't go around the corner yet. Make sure they can always see the door. Otherwise, they're going to get confused. Good girl. You want to have them know exactly where the door is from where you're standing so that when you go around the corner for the very first time, they'll go right up to the door. It's less air, It's uh, less room for error. Come on. So when they've gotten the hang of going to the exit from anywhere they can see the door, you can go around the first corner a little bit. Just make it so they can just barely not see the door. Exit. And they still know where it is. Even though they can't see it, they're still confident and they'll try. If they can't see the door and they feel lost, they may not try. Good girl! Good girl! Let me try this way. This is where she really started to get used to it. Once, once, she, um, once she started to realize what the objective was, which was find a door to the outside, it was a lot easier. So
so I'm just gonna start walking around the store. Don't do this yet. Just do what I just did and uh, that have that be your first several sessions, unless they're picking up picking it up really fast like she did. I started this task last week. We're nowhere near the door at this point. Suki, exit. Go ahead, exit. If you need to give them a little more encouragement, that's totally fine. She was a little unsure about what she was doing. Give them encouragement. Good, exit, good girl. <clears throat> and here it comes. Leave it. Good girl. That was just a little dog. Good girl. She's getting a little distracted here, kind of wavering back and forth. I think she's might have forgotten. Nope, she knows where we're going. That was from all the way in the back of the store. Good girl, you did it. Good girl, you did it. Good girl. I'm jackpotting, which is feeding her multiple treats because she did <coughs> a good job. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. A. Hey, sit your butt down. Womp womp. I love this dog, man. She's so good. Um, I'm going to show you her taking me out of the library and her taking me out of uh, my workplace from the second floor. So uh, enjoy that. This is where we've been sitting the whole time at the library. Here's Suki. Come here. We're still learning, so we're going to try it. Exit. Good. It's a, it's a window, but the door is right here, which is pretty much the same thing. We did park this way, so we're going to go this way. Suki. I told her exit to see if she would because we're on the second floor at Discover. And she immediately started walking and pulling me towards the elevator. Here we are. Good girl. So now we've... We're gonna have to teach her to push this. I'm disoriented. Press the wrong button. I have her pole strap here. Sorry, I'm breathing weird. I'm just really excited. I wasn't expecting it. I just sort of set it to see if she would recognize, even though we were on the second floor. And she took me all the way to the uh, elevator. I'm really excited. Okay. Ready? Exit. Show everybody how good you are, good girl.